Good morning and welcome to Life University's Life Church. This is your life host, the Reverend Dr. Donisa Palmer. Today, I would like us to start our segment by welcoming you to a time of thanksgiving, to a time of gratitude. And here I invite you to take with me that very deep and grateful breath for being alive in this present moment. Let's do that together. Hold it. Oh, wonderful. We're going to do that again and this time I would like us to just feel that breath coming up through your feet right up and filling your whole being gratitude in this present moment. Let's do that together. Hold it. Oh, wonderful. You know, last week we spoke about whatever was pure. We thought we thought about how magnificent and how wonderful it was to have 23,040 breaths or 20,000 breaths per 24 hour cycle. And how within that time we would try out earnest to reach at least 1 million times during that whole week to think about those things. That means the most to us, that is it's so important, that is really magnificent thoughts, like a millionaire thoughts, you know, a million good thoughts during, during the day. How did you get on? And if you weren't part of that last week, perhaps you could do it this week. But whatever we do, may we always remember to be grateful. We have been given this time for a purpose and for a reason. And may we use our breaths, may we use our life, all to be so grateful because there is so much to be grateful for. And so in this moment, I give thanks for your life. I pray over every circumstance and every situation that you're facing right now, that you have ever faced and that you will face in the future. I bring it all into this present moment and I bless it. I bless it and I declare it well. Whatever it is, I declare it well. And I say, Amen. Amen. And so it is. So for this moment, for this morning, we are going to look at our topic today. And it's three little words to bless your day. <laughs> so whatever day it is that you have tuned into YouTube and have tuned into my channel, Life University's Live Church. Uh, well, these three little words to bless your day. So not just today, but every day. Wonderful. And we're continuing on our topic um, in the series of whatever. The whatever is of God is always wonderful. And you need to know that somewhere. The whatever is of life, the whatever is of God, always wonderful, always beneficial. So this week is whatever is noble. Noble, before I go on to uh, the three little words, we want to know what is noble? What, what does noble mean to you? Do you know that word? It's quite an old fashioned word, isn't it? We think about in the old days, we think about the noble man, we say the noble woman. We think about what comes straight to mind would be an aristocrat, yeah? So, it, you know, that word sort of come, belongs, belonging to rank or title or birth into aristocracy. So where does that put majority of us, if that's all that noble means? In the sense that we're talking about the whatever is noble of God. 
So yes, belonging to rank and birth into aristocracy, or, and that's another ball game for another time, but we can look at it in another light, yeah, which is having or showing fine personal qualities or high moral principles. And so we're going to, is in this second description, okay? We're going to look at the second description that we will address our subject today, whatever is noble. And so we're talking about that wonderful character trait, those ideals or conduct that's exalted, okay? And that is grand, that is dignified, that is magnificent. Now, most people who know me, like in person, say, what, what would you say? It's Reverend Palmer's word or Lady Palmer's word. What would you say is Donisi's word? Magnificent, okay? So I love that word, and I love that that word noble actually mirrors the word magnificent. Splendid, impressive, worthy. And another word that I like very much and try to sort of imitate that in my words, well, in my thoughts, actually, is principled okay so <clears throat> whatever is noble these three little words i'm going to bring to you sort of you know based around uh what we just talked about to do with noble and i'm going to ask you so when you think about noble i would like you uh to draw a crown all right if you've got a pen or a pencil or maybe if you don't use your imagination and close your eyes and and use your, your imagination to draw a crown. I don't know what your crown look like, but I'm drawing a crown right now. And you know, you just do those scribbles, those uh, three little uh, arches, <laughs> and you do one small, and you do one larger, and you do another small one. And you get a little crown, don't you? Then you put a line underneath the bottom, and you've got a little crown, and maybe you put some little um, gems in there, and you have your crown. And that's your own, okay? So when we're talking about noble, you think, well, maybe I wasn't born into a certain rank or with a certain title, or I wasn't birthed into aristocracy. But a noble person, what does make a noble person before we come to those three words? Let's just get something straight here. Remember, we are looking at whatever is noble of God. We're talking about those fine personal qualities, okay, that you own that you own. So we think about a noble person generally, okay, as somebody else other than ourselves, the other, someone you admire and respect because they're generous and have good moral, you know, morally good. So we put them on a high standard, but truthfully, is everyone that is born um, by rank or title into aristocracy, really, are they really respectful within themselves or are morally good within themselves? We do not know, we do not know their thought. So when I asked you to draw a crown, I was asking you to draw your own crown, your own. And then I'm gonna introduce these three little words to bless your day. You can use these um, in a sentence to say, how do, I, how do I manage my blessing towards myself? Whatever is noble, what, the whatever is of God is always good for me. The whatever of life is always good for me. So these three questions, okay, it comes in form. These three little words comes from these three questions. And the first question today, what makes you happy? And the first word is est. E-S-T. What makes you happy? Est. What makes you happiest? Okay? So I know what makes you happy, or you know what makes you happy. But I would like you to get a pen and a paper, and I know you've got so much to do already. You do not need another exercise, but I think you do. Add this to your growing list. Okay? What makes you happy? Est. And so write that down. What makes me happy? happiest and you get a, that first column on your paper what makes you happiest and that those columns is coming below your crown remember you're drawing a crown whether you're doing that in your mind or not 
I would suggest the best place is to do it on a piece of paper, okay? What makes me happy est? So the first word is est, E-S-T, okay? What is more, what is important to me? So first, what makes me happy est? What's, what's, what makes me happy est? And, and that just, I'm telling you, that will enlarge you. You have to do the exercise to really get it, okay? Then you think, what is important to me? Remember, now you're talking about nobility. What is important? And the next word is most. What is most important to me? Number two. So first, what makes me happiest? And what is most important to me? And then the third word, what can I give that is best? So the third word is best. What can I give that is best? And that brings us into the fullest mobility of nobility. And indeed, then wouldn't be our mobility. <laughs> So what makes you happiest? What is most important? And what is the best I can give? What can I give that is best? And when I was given these words this morning to come to you, as you know, these are fresh thought life words. And I'm going to be truthful. When I first start, you know, after my meditation and I came to do the segment, I had no idea what life wanted each and every one of us to think about this week. So I came to the table, you would say, with nothing in the glass. But I came nevertheless, because this is my desire to be used by life to bless the entire, to be a delight, to bring delight for life to others. And indeed, I am delighted. I am delighted by life. There is so much goodness in life. Life is magnificent. And I am so happy and aware of how life lives me. And in it is in this desiring to share that I came this morning to the table. And here was given to me three little words to bless our day, to bless our week. In the series of the whatever's of God, whatever is noble. Okay? So no longer have we to look outside for our crown, but you have within you the nobility. Everybody is born with that code of nobility, okay? It is not just coming down from a certain set of people where we say, that, oh, that's blue blood. That's another ball game altogether. But we are talking about having or showing fine personal qualities or high moral principles and it is the second description of fine personal qualities okay someone you admire and respect and remember we are talking about you we're talking about you and who is the true you of your being who is the true you of your your being what is your awareness of the life that lives you remember we talked about this so we are talking then about what makes you, who, who are you? That person that is grand to be happiest. What is your highest ideal? Oh, what makes, what is most important to you? Is it splendid? Is it something splendid? Is it something splendid? Or is it to, to have a fight and win? or to win an argument. Is that really something splendid, dignified, impressive, worthy, grand? Three little words, what can I give that is best? But in order to give your best, do you know we have to be our best? What makes you happier? It's very important this week. And what is most important? And what can I give that is best? And if we live our life with these three important, I call them noble words, you will find that your week will go so much quicker, so much better, 
and so much more happy. Honestly, you will you be so surprised. And by the way, I've been asked, where do you get these words from? Um, the whatevers. They really um, came from an old, a you know, I could say ancient um, texts, and uh, by the Philippians, you know, um, chapter four, verse eight. And so you'll find a a, wa a lot of whatever there, the whatever we call it of God, and it says that. If there be anything that is of excellence, these are the things that you should think on and meditate and work, meditate on whatever is good, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is noble. And so in our series today, we are thinking about whatever is noble. So whatever is noble that makes you happiest, whatever is noble that is most important to you, and whatever I can give that is best. In terms of nobility, what is magnificent, what is splendid, what is impressive, what is grand, what is worthy, what is principal, oh, so respectful, so generous, so honest. I would like for you to look at your list as you go down and see what makes you happiest. If you can tick off, as you're ticking off, oh, wow, you know, this makes me happy, but this makes me happiest because it's splendid. This is important to me, but this is most important to me because it's magnificent. What can I give? Oh, I'll give something I don't want. No, no, no. I'll give this because it's so impressive to me. It's so grand. It's so dignified. Ah, that is my true nature. And then you own your crown. You lift your head up. You lift your heart up. You lift your soul up. And so we are going to end as we started today. A very short segment. Unlike my latter, <laughs> the few, the few, the previous, I should say, not latter, the previous ones have been very long. But today, I really want to leave you with these words that you remember them this week. Under 20 minutes for you to bless your day, to bless your week. We started off by being grateful. Let us be grateful for the life that lives us. The life that lives us. Oh, it's wonderful. The life that lives you is grand. You see, I don't feel grand. But the life, I'm talking about life, God. Grand. Magnificent. Say with me these words this morning. Grand. Say with me. Dignified. Say with me. Magnificent. Say with me splendid say with me impressive say with me worthy say with me exalted it's very wonderful to say these words because how often people are feeling depressed you know the opposite of depressed is exalted and as we begin to say these wonderful words listen to this segment again and say these words over and over. And I pray, my prayer is that as you go down your list of what make you happiest, what is most important, and what can I give that is best, that you would find you are imitating these words throughout your week. And oh my dear, that is true aristocracy. Bless you, bless your home, and bless your life. This is the Reverend Dr. Tonisia Farmer signing out today. If you have enjoyed a segment or been encouraged, why not pass it on to encourage somebody else? Leave us a thumbs up, and if you have not yet subscribed, press that subscribe button below, and the notification will come straight into your email. Thank you for those that have donated. Your donations are gratefully received. And if you have not donated before and wish to do so, you go to the PayPal website and you make your donations to lulifechurch at gmail.com. Lulifechurch. You're gratefully received. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Have a great and a wonderful week. Be happy because you are grand and because you are wonderful. Bless you.